guys, it's Ursula's Event, and welcome back to Aquarius SMP. Uh, I, I've done a, a little bit of work on my house. It's actually been quite a while since I... Oh, whoops. Let's try that again. Hey guys, it's Ursula's Event, and welcome back to Aquarius SMP. I've done quite a bit of work to my house. Uh, I almost kind of showed it off a little bit. It's been uh, quite a while since we've been on. See, uh, even, even that's gotten a lot of work done. That's Runa's house. She's doing an amazing job on it, honestly. Uh, and I've gotten some progress done on my house as well. And uh, I guess I guess I'm gonna turn around and show you guys. Uh, it doesn't look too great from the outside. I'll admit that. I kind of I kind of want to make it look better, but I I may have totally messed this up. <laughs> um, it doesn't really look like a cove like I expected it to. So I don't know. It, it might not just it might just not be a cove. I think I am going to make it look prettier on the outside though. I I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'll I'll work on it. I promise. Okay. Uh, so I have a little bit of a dock here. Let's let's go inside here. Um, I really I really need to do something to the outside of this. This is not nice. This is not pretty at all. I think the inside looks a lot better. Um, and I kind of I did my little little cave. I have I have uh, water. I have the ocean floor underneath me, uh, and I kind of I kind of like that. I might just replace all of this glass with that glass because if you go in here, which is my enchantment room, it looks a whole lot nicer. So I'm gonna need to uh, get a lot more coins to afford that, or I have to go to the nether and get some more glowstone, uh, because making the hardened glass, I, I made all of this, I didn't even buy any of it. Um, making the hardened glass is a little difficult, but it's doable. So if we go past here, we have my storage room, which uh, we have Donatello. <laughs> He's our Ninja Turtle. Um, and this is our, uh, also kind of our collection stuff too. I'm gonna get my, my backpacks up underneath, uh, my weapons and, and stuff. Ugh. I don't, I don't know guys, I have, I have to do better. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was totally content with it before I logged on today, but it's okay. Uh, and this is my bedroom, it's really empty, but I'm, again, I'm, I'm working on it. <gasps> Hi puppy! <laughs> okay guys, there's a really funny story. So I had opened a couple of lucky blocks and I got, I got pretty lucky with a couple of them. Uh, in two of them, I got the one where you get a bunch of wolves. So I had like 14 wolves under my lead. And uh, it was honestly, it was a little bit glorious for a minute there. And then I was trying to travel home, uh, and I thought I counted 14 at the start, and then I only ended up with 13. Uh, so that was kind of weird. Donatello, your personal space, man. So I ended up with 13. Oh my god, Donatello, are you nuts? You know what? Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I ended up with 13 wolves, and none of them had names, and there was kind of an issue with the server where uh, we had to clear a lot of mobs, and it wasn't supposed to clear tamed mobs, but it did, uh, in a certain radius. One day I happened to go back to this village that I kind of frequent a lot because there's a lot of stuff around it that I like to go to, and then I went inside one of the libraries that I hadn't raided yet, and the 14th wolf was there. Oh my god, Donatello! And this is the 14th wolf, and it just kind of waited there and stayed there, and it was the only one that was saved. It already had an orange collar, and I, I didn't die it again, because it's kind of like the last survivor. And so is Chell. I guess kind of, in a way, from Portal. Uh, and you guys know how much I love Portal. Uh, I mean, maybe. I, I don't I don't know if you guys know that, but I love Portal so much. And Chell kind of sounds like Shell, and it's honestly, it's kind of a perfect name, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So uh, this is Chell, and uh, we have to get her a name tag. Actually, do we have name tag recipes? Oh, sweet, we do. It's just iron and paper. There's a lot of stuff I have planned to do today. Um, first, I have a bunch of gifts to give people. I don't know if I went over it uh, in the first episode, but if we open up our inventory, we have cosmetic armor here. So, and I know I covered this in Pixel Sanctuary. I could put any kind of armor I want here. If I uncheck that. I, uh, I got a, my flower crown, but with the protection of an iron helmet, which is really neat. So not everybody knows about that. So I'm going to write them all letters with the puppy post and let them know. So I've enchanted everybody a helmet. They range from protection one to aqua affinity. Oh, I have one projectile protection, but the rest of them are protection one and aqua affinity. So let's go write some letters. Oh, I also got a cat. It doesn't have a name yet. I have to come up with one, but it's so cute. Uh, actually, if you go right out here, if you go a little bit further, I think this is like a rainforest or something. Um, there's lots of cats there. So that was kind of neat. Uh, I have actually, uh, I have a couple of other <laughs> animals here. I have an ocelot, which I'm giving to Runa. I have a rabbit, which is really low and I don't know how to heal it. So, uh, we're gonna need some splash potions before I spawn that. Oh, there was another gift that I wanted to give for Runa. 
Uh, I found this iron golem backpack in one of the villages and uh, not gonna lie, Runa was a little bit salty. <laughs> no, she was just, she just really liked it and she hadn't seen one before. And I kind of don't really have use for it, so I'm gonna give it to Runa. But I'm gonna put the ocelot inside the backpack. It should actually be a baby ocelot, which is really super cute and adorable. So I'm gonna get most of these letters written up and I'll be right back. Hello Aquarian, tired of your armor clashing with your swimwear or fins? Try cosmetic armor. In your inventory, press the little shirt in the bottom right of your avatar. The left is the armor you are wearing and the right is the cosmetic armor. You look like you're wearing the armor on the right, but have the protection of the one on the left. You can even make it go invisible by pressing the checkbox to the right of the cosmetic slot. I have included an enchanted helmet and flower crown for you to try this out for yourself. Armor up and just keep swimming. Alexa, Ursula's French. Okay, so this one is going to Vipsy. Suit up. Protection one and a flower crown. Cool. Send. Whew. Okay, well that certainly took a lot of time. Uh, let's... Now send Runa's last present. Have her iron golem backpack to Runa. Gem. Present time. <laughs> I know you're eyeing my iron golem backpack. I'm probably not going to use it, so I wanted to give it to you. There's an extra surprise inside too. Art Alexa. Okay. To Runa Gem. Send. Present time. All right. Successfully mailed. All right. Now that uh, we've <laughs> we've uh, utilized the puppy post, there are a couple of things that I want to shop for in Atlantis. Okay, so I want to go here because this guy has some pretty grasses I want to try and use. Um, okay, so 16 rainbow grasses. I want to try these two. I definitely want these. What is this? Wyvern layer tall grass? I kind of like this. I don't know what they are. You know what, why not? I'm grabbing all of these. Just all of my money. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I actually have some emeralds I can sell for more money. Uh, is there anything else that I need here today? What is this? It looks like I have mail from Toxic. Oh, just stuff. Emerald Hal Hal beard. All right, well, thanks, Toxic. Okay, so let's go home and start decorating. Uh, I kind of, I kind of think that I need to to make the outside prettier before I put some of this grass down. I just, I just want to know if I, if it's, if I can. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I love this. If I break it, can I have it back? No, probably not. I probably have to shear it. <gasps> but all of this stuff is so pretty! <gasps> okay, where are my shears? Oh, I just broke it. Okay, those grasses are gonna stay there until I finish the outside of my house. Hey, cat, why are you down here? Come here, cat. Cat? There you are. <laughs> Come here, cat. There you go. Take a sit down, and we should actually go and name our pets. Okay, this one's going to be Cho. And now I need a name for my cat. Oh, he's a black cat. I think I'm gonna call him Pirate. Okay, so we have... You are Pirate, and you are Cho. Cool. I'm I'm really excited about this decision to call you Pirate. <gasps> I need to retexture you to have an eye patch. <gasps> you have a little bit of a derpy eye too. It's kind of perfect. I'm, I'm happy with this decision. <laughs> so, like I had mentioned, I I'm gonna need to do a lot on the exterior of my house. So let's focus a little bit on the interior. Now, for the most part, I think I'm going to try to decorate this with like uh, more coral and more plants. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I could put those on the inside. Those those pretty plants. Because I, I can kind of make them look like coral coming up here. I'm not sure. I'll have to test it out. So I'm going to try to make this place a little bit more floral, maybe. Uh, a little bit more nautical. Uh, maybe put some paintings and other other uh, other nice things. Um, but we kind of got to talk about this room. So I have a plan for this room. It's going to be a library, which kind of goes with that library. Um, and this is going to be where we kind of do all of our magic modded stuff. So we do have Ars Magica. I'm going to put a lot of that stuff here. But we also have witchery. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into witchery. Um, maybe, maybe I just need to make some protection pockets, honestly, though. But I was thinking that we would get into Botania, which is magical flowers. So let's try to craft a couple of things. So first off, we need our Lexica Botania, uh, which is a book and it looks like any kind of sapling. Maple saplings. I have plenty of those. Let's uh, let's use that. And I have more books over here. Ooh, Alexa Capitania. Perfect. All right. So if I open that up, all 
that is so cool, it has an animation! Welcome to Botania. I congratulate you on the fine twist of strapping a sapling and a book together, or just finding this tome in a chest, whichever applies. Alright, this- oh my gosh, that is so cool! Despite its look, Botania is in essence a tech mod by definition of requiring you to put ingenuity, thought, and redstone to create and progress. It's good to keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. Okay, cool, let's start this tutorial. You've started your tutorial. Follow the red arrows, read the contest, be guided through the basics of Botania. Woohoo! Okay, basics and mechanics. Crafting the petal apothecary, we need cobblestone slabs, cobblestone, and any kind of petal. Alright, let's go craft one of those. Okay, so I've started already collecting some of these since we have extra of this. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cool! If I just hit control over one of the items, it opens up where it is in the... the oh my god, in the Lexica! <gasps> that is amazing! This thing is so cool! Oh my gosh, that is so cool! I can do it on any item! Oh... That is so cool! Oh my god, I love this. This is amazing! Oh, hold up. Why can't I crush this? Is this- is it because it's not a flower? Oh my gosh, it's because these are all mushrooms, isn't it? Alright, we gotta go... <laughs> we gotta go find some actual mystical flowers. Pretty sure there are some out here already. Um, I think you might be one. If not, I see a blue one. That definitely is. What about you? Your biome's a plenty. Oh, mystical white flower. You! take you anyway I like you oh uh, there looks like a red one over here mystical red I'll take you blue oh gosh that scared me uh hi oh my gosh sword please I don't know why I didn't expect to find monsters here uh I'll take you Ooh, bones oh and arrows I need you ah uh, yes the dark blue one oh Black Lotus, you're pretty. And you are Botania. Nope. 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 Please. Whew. Oh my gosh, there's so many flowers everywhere. I'm loving this. Take this Black Lotus. Oh, you look like you want to kill me. Oh my gosh, you're fast. That was, that was, that was fast. Oh, we have a double tall one. Let me grab my shears. Tall. <gasps> nice! Cool! I don't think all of those are Britannia. Mm. What about these brown ones? What are you? reads from biomes of plenty if i break you what happens nothing okay ah oh, that's a brown one okay let's get that one did i totally pass it oh yeah it's right here Ooh, gray one something wants to kill me including the snake i think but i, I don't want to i don't want to go after it Ooh, more flowers and something else that wants to kill me Oh, okay. You're you're coming in hot. Oh my gosh, you are strong. I think I've confused it though. Woohoo! Oh, a dragonfly. What's this? Cave is being used by people. Please don't rob. Okay. Ooh, a stock garden. Oh, <gasps> yes. We can plant stuff. What are you? Ooh, grass garden. Oh, yes, corn. Uh, I, f I see. I see lots of things that want to kill me. I don't think they see me yet. A king charger. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, he's strong. And I am lagging. Like it's no one's business. <gasps> Uh, whoops. 
<gasps> Nobody's gotten that lucky block yet. <gasps> I kind of want to go get it. I kind of want to go back to where I died and kill that King Creeper. King Creeper? King Charger. Uh, but I also want to go get that lucky block. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of flowers, let's go and try to craft uh, what, we're, what we're trying to craft. Oh, wow, my inventory is full. I'm going to take you. Cool, we have some petals. I believe it looks like this. And then a petal. <gasps> Woohoo! A petal apothecary. I guess maybe this will kind of be like my Ars Magico area because I know that there's a lot of items for there. I don't know how much there is for Botania. Maybe there is more than I'm thinking of. Uh, maybe we'll make this corner Botania and then we'll do some more Ars Magica over here and over here because I kind of want my spells to be all over the wall over there. Okay, so for now I'm just going to put you there. And I don't, I don't really know what I need to make with this. Flower pouch. The laws of physics regarding one's inventory are somewhat skewed in the world. Thanks to that, carrying an array of different colors of flowers turns out to be a major hassle. Luckily, a flower pouch takes care of all of those issues. It can store up to one stack of each color or mystical flower. Not only that, but it will passively catch any that enter the holder's inventory. That's cool. We should make one of those. Items won't be added automatically to the pouch if the item is being held. Furthermore, shift right clicking the pouch into a chest or other inventory will store the flowers in it to <gasps> oh, cool. So if we shift right click the bag on the chest of our flowers, they will store into the bag. Okay, so we need wool and... Does it have to be... Oh, any color works. Okay, so any colors work. So maybe we try that. I should have some wool somewhere. Perfect. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and this, a flower pouch, cool. Now if I shift right click my, there. Nope, that, that didn't work. Right click here? No. Shift right click. Oh wait, it doesn't work if it's in here. Oh, maybe not. I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, well, I can just, uh, I can just put them in here myself. Okay, so not all of them can transfer. This is fine. Um, so not the tall ones, but everything else should. Okay, cool. I'm kind of curious to know if this works, though. <gasps> it does work! Okay, cool. So now does it work if it's not on my hotbar? It totally does! That's awesome! Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna put that in there, and whenever I need flowers, I have them. Okay, I'm gonna read a little bit about mana manipulation. Well, there's there's certainly a lot to read up on mana generation. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to get into it. But uh, we are gonna need to collect some pure daisies to get some living wood and living stone, which if we put one of those daisies down and surround it with wood or stone, it should turn it into those. And then we can use that stuff to craft. And we're also gonna need to make a, 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 a wand of sorts. So let's go look for some daisies. While we're at it, we should sort of head to the area where spawn is. Um, only because I did see a lucky block there that I kind of want to collect. A little dog with boats! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm riding a swan boat. This is awesome! This is really cool! It's a swan boat. Let's guide it back to dock. Alright, there we go. Um, where did that lucky block go? <gasps> there it is! Hello, whales. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a narwhal! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hi, narwhal! Oh my gosh, you are so cute! Okay, how how's... What's the best way to get up here? Probably the other way. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I could swim up this. Whatever that is, I hope it doesn't come after me. It sounds really close. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Oh my gosh, everything here. At least, okay, if you're gonna kill me, at least kill me up here. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping it's safe now, but I'm really not sure. I think I'm going to try it anyway. 
Oh god, no, it wasn't safe. Oh, but at least I killed it. <gasps> I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, cool. I'll take all of the money. So I'm gonna need it. I, I kind of want that cloud pet, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anybody's taken it yet. How do I not have blocks? Um, I think, I think a blaze is going to try and kill me. Yep. Yep. Just let me have all this. If you're gonna kill me, kill me up here. If you're gonna kill me, kill me up here. Nope. Kill me up here. Thank you. Now I can break this. Thanks, Blaze. That was, that was nice of you. Thanks. Oh man, Blazes. No, 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 no. I just, I just, I just want to break this. <sighs> no, no. Oh, that was my own fault. Okay, guys, this. Oh no, just, just please let me get my tower. And uh, nope. Okay, well, I'll get that tower later. <laughs> In the meantime, let's uh, get our lucky block. Here we go. Okay. Eh. Ooh. I will take that diamond block. Thank you. I actually really need that for something that I want to do. <gasps> okay, next episode. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think... I think to get the pure daisy, I don't have to find it. I think I have to put the petals in the apothecary to get the pure daisy. Oh, so I need to get a bunch of these mystical white flowers, or the tall ones, which I know exist somewhere. Okay, to start, I think we need a bucket of water. I should just be able to put it right in there. Okay. And now I need to take you guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure if I just throw these in there. Two, three, four. And then... Oh, I did it! All right, we did it! That's so cool! Okay, so let's try and get some of the living wood and living stone. Theoretically, I should just be able to put this down, but I don't know if it has to be on grass. It does. Okay, so we're gonna do this outside. Okay, and I should just be able to put this flower down in the middle. And then if I wait a little bit, they should all transform. Well, we definitely got a lot accomplished today. We got a couple of things to decorate the outside of our house, which I will be doing between episodes. We gotta make uh, the exterior look as nice as I think the interior looks. Uh, we got started in Botania, which is really cool. I still have to do a lot of research about mana regeneration, um, but uh, or mana generation or whatever, whatever this mana stuff is. I gotta do a little bit more research on that. And in the next episode, hopefully, we will start Ars Magica with a couple of friends. So that is going to be very exciting. So if you, oh my god. Oh, that was, that was fast. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see the continuation. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!